how to change the user interface in Autodesk 3ds Max. Okay, so changing the user interface in 3ds Max. First, in this video, I will talk about the elements related to the UI scheme. So if you go up to customize, then we will go to load custom UI scheme. We will see that we can select various files with the file format UI file. So we have a dark theme and a light theme and also the default. But we can also find various aspects regarding this. If we go up to customize and we have this custom default switcher. So over here we can choose the initial settings for tools and layouts within 3ds Max. I have mine set to Max Legacy, but by default the software will, will be set to this. So it will be Max with the default UI. You can also choose uh, the light scheme. So everything remains the same, just that the font color will be black and the user interface will be gray in comparison to to the default one that has white text and gray background so this is the light the dark scheme and over here we have various different settings so by default 3ds max will be set in the newer version in 2021 will be set to use the arnold renderer also for the layers, all objects are created by object and the material editor will be populated with physical material. There are also other changes regarding to motion blur inverse kinematics that are listed over here. And for more details, you can scroll this menu and you can see for each. So for example, rendering, we see that the production has Arnold assigned as well as the active shade set to Arnold. We can also go for design and visualization with Arnold renderer. So this will be the first option. Again, the list for all the changes is presented in the user interface. So it will still use the, the physical materials. And there is also the design viz dot art that uses the art render renderer, not the Arnold renderer like the other one and also some other changes to the, the part of lighting, motion blur, cloning, and aspects regarding inverse kinematics. There is also max.art that uses, again, the art renderer. And there are various changes to the other assets. So this is how you can change. So let's say maybe I want to go by default, but I would like to go for the light version i will just click on set and the software will now change that color scheme and i see that the default will take effect the next time you restart 3ds max that means that if i restart 3ds max now it will be set to this light lighter scheme okay so i hope you find this this video useful if you are just getting started with 3ds max and want to customize or if you're an older user and you want to to change it to the original version let's say max legacy maybe 2010 2012 you can go to max legacy and you'll have set the renderer to scanline renderer so it will be that old one if i will press f10 if I will go all the way at the bottom, assign renderer, it will have the scan line renderer and the old school material. So like this, not, not with the slate, the compact material is by default, but you can also go for the legacy slate material section. Okay, so thanks for watching.